This is the difference with black gangs is no hierarchy. See, these other races, they got a hierarchy in their respect, the hierarchy. So they have a goal for the whole organization based off the hierarchy. Niggas is every man for themselves. So if I'm making bread, nigga, I'm making bread. That's how niggas feel. It's not we making bread for the gang. That's some court shit that they do in court. Oh, you did it for the gang and the right. set. Rico. But nah, it's not like the Italian mob. Like, this is the family. We making millions. Okay, he gonna get the most because he at the top, and then we gonna break it down and share. We just niggas everywhere. Well, because nah, but even that too. But niggas is in all them other organizations from the mob to whatever. It's each one teach one. I'm not gonna learn a new a new way to get the bread. I'm gonna come bring it to the table. Look, this is what we do here. Don't sell it to kids. Don't sell it here. Bam, we are gonna break it down. This is how you gotta make the money. And we're not gonna do that. And they gonna get it and gatekeep it. Yeah, I'm on now. I, I figured I figured out how to. Uh, what's the shit they doing now? I figured out how to scam, nigga. Scam. You, you only can come through me, and that's it, nigga. I'm never showing nobody else my hand how to do it. I mean, so. in my opinion, it's just like there's a hierarchy. There's some dudes who are at the top, clearly, but it's just that those dudes they only take care of the people who they feel close to, and then everybody else is like every man for himself. The mob is like. The same, it's not the same way, but everyone does operate autonomously. It's just that you have to meet a certain standard, right? Like <clears throat> you can go do really whatever you want, but at the end of the week, you better have two thousand, four thousand dollars for the bosses. <laughs> you can't do whatever you there. want. Well, that's, what you mean? You mean far as what the people in the organization well, far, or, the, or the businesses that they're they're taxing? Like what the mob is, the mob is surrounded by people who go out and earn, right? So like. Everybody at the end of the month or whatever has to come back to the bosses and they basically have to pay money. They got a quota. To what, yeah, they got a quota. Yes, they have a quota, right. but they have a certain way that's designed to make that quota. You're not going to just go be robbing other Italians. You're not going to be right. doing certain things. You have you still have a structure about it. Even yeah. though they never see the Don, the Don knows the whole structure of how this is how this is running. This he knows where it's fucking up from the bottom man to the top man. The same way if you had a business as a... If you was running a whole company and you this is your company, you're going to know the ins and outs. You're going to know where the structure is falling apart, where it needs to be worked on from the littlest man to the biggest man. And I think that's how they run their organizations. But, but with the Dons, the thing I think that is capitalism, right? You got to bring us back this much money every week. OK, now you are incentivized to find different, more creative ways to get money. Look at the movie uh, Casino. Them niggas went to Vegas and started opening up casinos. And that was all in the name of like, yo, we got to come back every month with this amount of money. And what happened? They end up putting everybody on. Everybody who was in a circle this got the put on that Was show. Casino really the mob? But yeah, hell yeah. yeah Vegas, the Vegas is the mob. I know. The, the, the Vegas, they created. The mob, the, the mob Vegas. created built Vegas. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. built Vegas. Like, but I, Vegas mean, I, mean, I mean, based off what they showed in Casino, it really was only the nigga Robert De Niro and... Uh, Al, uh, what's his name? Pacino? Robert no, De Niro uh, was brought Pinchy. to run Pinchy, the casino. Oh, 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 you talking about Lil from Joe Pesci. Pesci. Joe yeah, Pesci. Joe Pesci. Joe yeah. Pesci was the security nigga. Robert De Niro was there to run the casino because the nigga who was running before him was still. Nah, but this is the main difference, though. They even have a strenuous like uh, recruitment process right. to where niggas is just like, hey, this my cousin or this my brother, this my homie. <laughs> so if I vouch for him... And niggas vouch for me. He's good. We you ain't really got on in no, the You getting put on and, and, and you you front of set now. The mob is like, bro, you there got to be pure blood. You got to be part of this family. And we got to we gotta watch you and, and make sure that and, you become and, a made man. Exactly. Same with the biker and, game. But you're still you a trial. Hang, yeah. You a hang around for a damn near a year or two. Nigga, we got to make sure you really solid. Ain't no just coming around and you cool because he vouched for you. Yeah, that's cool. But every member in the club Gotta say, oh yeah, he's straight. So you finna spend some time with bro. You finna spend some time with bro, and they gonna say what your faults is, what your strengths is. Okay, he good. He passed. The nah, test. but even then, like you said, they're gonna give you a, a grace period. Like you might have to go through some shit. You might have to even. We want to see what happens when the pressure is on you. We want to see what happens when you catch a case. We want to see what happens with certain things before we even allow you to make it official. Because once you once you make it official, it's over. Your life is in our hands, basically. I mean the, yeah. the I mean the thing is they just ain't carrying no dead weight. Gangs carry a lot of dead weight. Nah, and that's niggas why getting whacked. A lot of yeah. snitches and stuff getting getting initiated because these dudes just walked in and didn't have to prove themselves at all. Oh, you from the hood now, you from the set. The mob is like, dude, you gotta show us that you're worth our time. This is the difference too, though. They rules, they live or dying by them. So they got snitches, they got rats too, but the difference is it ain't no, 
Oh, well, that's Joe Pesci's nephew, so we can't fuck with him. Oh, he Said ratted. Joe he Pesci. not related to nobody. Okay, we could whack him. No, if you break the rules, they sending your best friend. Oh, that's yeah. your man's? You, you vouch for him, right? You go do it. Get the job done. Niggas yeah. picking and choosing, so it's like the rules is all the way out the window. It depends on who you related to. It depends on how many niggas are scared of you. It depends on if you got the bag. It's, it's all type of different variables that we allow in our structures to break the rules. And that's why our shit is so chaotic and in turmoil. Like, it's crazy, it's though, because it wasn't, it wasn't always like that. When we was younger, you did have to either grow up over here or you have family or you really was from Long Beach with the school with people. Niggas knew you, so it was it was it was a little different. But now, like you said, it's just I don't know. I guess niggas doing more about numbers and stuff like that. But if niggas had prison rules on the streets, I think a lot of the accountability would would go far off. It'd be more structured, in my in my opinion. But why didn't the, the, I get what you're saying? But if that was the case, why aren't the blacks more powerful in prison than they were before. Hold a brief intermission to the audience. We're not promoting gangs. We just speaking on the realism and the reality. Gangs are never going to stop. So what we discussing is ways that can curb some of the chaos because the gangs is never going to stop, but you can get shit more in order. And same thing with the prison is, is, I don't know. It's just different with niggas be to me. We handle shit differently than other races. Like, I think it's because we don't have as much of a racist outlook towards other races. We more like, if you cool with us, cool. If you don't fuck with us, fuck you. Them niggas, they be like, fuck you niggas type shit. Black and they be ready to go at but, the, you feel me? Niggas gonna go, don't get me wrong. But we don't look at them with too much hate, like overall as a race. We don't see it that way. It more like be really some gang shit. These woods and these these essays and shit, they be looking at niggas like fuck niggas. Cause we know how hate, we know how the hate is. But what you said, what you mean that blacks don't have structure or whatever. In I prison? think with black people, the problem with any organized thing black people try to do, black people are incredibly arbitrary and selective. It's rules for thee, but not for me. Like, like the mob you said, it don't matter if it's somebody's son. If this person break the rules, they might make his own. Like that movie, uh, what was that movie called? Uh, was it American Me? Where Man, the, where the nigga strangled his own cousin on the side of the road? That was American Me. The American Me. Remember yeah, when he strangled his own SS. cousin? Yeah. Dude, it was his cousin. His cousin, his cousin was talking shit. He was in prison. He was getting out of prison. His cousin came to pick him up. He strangled his own cousin on the side of the road because that was the hit that came down from the bosses at the top. In a fucking prison. But that's what I mean by the hierarchy. Negroes would have been like, nah, man, that's my fucking cousin. I ain't going against my cousin for you niggas. Like, you know how niggas is. But this the thing, though, because they know eventually we going to the Pinta. We going to the thing. So we don't follow them instructions. But second we get in here, it's a green light on us. But nigga, you get in there, you good. Nigga, okay, this the homie, it's Long Beach car. Okay, your homie's over here, your homie's over there. Ain't no green light on you for not following orders from the pen. Nah, but at the end of the day. what? Man, fuck with Cud talk about that nigga in jail. Can't even right. tell At the end of the do. day, for them, is you or me. It don't even matter. Even if you maybe not a pin or not, they might have somebody come whack your ass. And in, in, in later times, I don't know now because a lot of them niggas took over all them fucking S and Y yards. But it's just. I don't like even know that? what the fuck an S and Y yard is. That's but the PC yard. Yeah, it's like that's, that's PC. So yeah, it's more so. PC. It's more PC now than mainline. Mainline right, is, yeah. is the is the uh, yeah because everybody's scared to get beat up and stabbed. They're like. No, nah, it's saying the rise but, 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 but and snitching and lot, A lot of things that I'm seeing with, with them other races and they people, they're tired of the hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of mm. the times it's changing. They seeing us where they be like, man, you fucking lucky you black, man. We get to, y'all get to sleep. Y'all get to do this and do that. Them niggas getting up, nigga, program time. Even though we programming too, but you have more of a freedom to do what you want. No, it's a yeah. mandatory program. Like, no, we got 2,000 burpees. You're doing nah, 2,000 burpees. No, I'm burpees. just saying. Bro. It ain't no, okay, they, I'm going to the yard they to work can't, out. They can't sleep during the day. They can't do certain shit. Somebody, if they choose you to stay up all night, you got to stay up and whatever. I forgot what they call that that's shit. Hierarchy. Yeah. Hey, that's hierarchy. That's what we're saying. That's structure. Hey, Nigga, we in here in a war zone. I know, but this is why. Looking I'm, at not like saying that. I'm not saying that, though. Yes, I agree with all that. But I'm saying now they're going against a lot of that shit. Yeah. Majority of the motherfuckers in prison is going against that shit now. Yeah. But the ones who ain't is still a huge number. Like, nah, and, and when sure. shit start going down, they're going to fall right in line with that shit. I'm going to go against it right now. But if a ride or something jump off, they're going to be right over there. Okay, tell me where it goes. Like, nah, these niggas ain't even going to exist. They're going to be on the yard with all the punks and shit. They're going to be in peace. These niggas ain't going to be. Yeah. yeah, but is it even possible to even curb 
gang violence period or gang period. No, nah, it's not because it's not. It's ne- it never stop. YG just did the power of peace walk, right? Everybody giving him shit for it, saying it was for his album rollout, it's fake, it's blah blah blah. Which it could be. I mean, the timing of it was around his album. So, but whatever the case, regardless, why shout out to yeah, YG for that. Regardless, he did it. I don't. I, I don't know. I, I don't. Me personally, I don't know what the walk is. I don't know. I don't know about a walk like. A peace walk? I don't know. I think we need to have more like peace talks. I don't know what the walk was about and putting it on social media and shit I like mean, that. It's, it's, it's a, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just throwing out the skepticism of how it looked from the outside looking in. To me, I, it looked more like a publicity stunt type of thing because niggas was still dissing in the pictures and shit like that. So it was like, who was who was they dissing? I mean, they was dissing the Crips. I mean, but it wasn't about Crips. At the end of the day, I didn't see all that, but the only part I seen was it might have been a, a, a peace walk for certain two hoods that yeah, was beefing, was two and that was down moves. So I didn't really care about it, but it's like, okay, you start somewhere at the end of the day. Regardless, that had nothing to do with us, at least. But Man, I go to LA, I go to Compton, I don't even barely see no blood niggas nowhere. Like, back in the day, you see a lot of dudes. Back I mean, in the what, day. What, hold on, but what do you mean you don't see blood niggas? You I don't, don't see really niggas flamed up? I, well, maybe that's what it is, but I don't see a lot of niggas that's like... You see niggas as Crips all over LA. Niggas from 60s, niggas from everywhere. I'm going to keep it G. You don't really see too many people outside, period, like that. You ain't getting niggas hanging out like they used to be right. 10, 15, 20 deep on certain blocks unless, right. unless niggas saying we meeting up here. You drive through any hood, you don't really see that much. I mean, certain sections, but unless you game banging and you hit niggas up, hey, where you from? Or you notice the area that you in. I mean, you're going to run into yeah. niggas, but you're not looking for niggas. So you like, I don't see niggas because I don't see red at? rags. <laughs> hey, but man, look, stay out of jail, man. <laughs> that's, that's that's black men. Period. Stay out of jail. Free the homies, man. Jail Free the homies, shit man. You. All my niggas in there, stay strong. Jail ain't it, cut that shit weak as fuck. Yeah. On this same crib, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That <laughs> shit is trash. <laughs> I'm gonna go to jail just for a field trip. Yeah, don't go for no field trip. I ain't trip, been in a while. Man. I didn't go see what's. Nigga be sitting in 18 hours of pro see I'm I, I can't pitch I can't stay in one spot for a long time. I can't afford it. Don't say what you can't do because if you go, you're gonna have to do it. No, I've been to jail and when yeah, I, I went a couple long. times, that was like enough for me. <laughs> I was like, nah, bro. Just the processing. 18 that hours is, just to get into the county. That shit bruh, is terrible. You sit hey, on the bench and sliding your ass down. No. Not even that. That's the most like degrading, human, unhumanizing Strip shit they could do. Naked, yeah, you realize you don't shit. got the biggest dick on earth no more? I, I don't know. I see that shit. I ain't even thinking like that. This nigga is crazy as hell. Hey, y'all. I don't know what the fuck this nigga been on the last couple episodes, but don't mind all that. Hey, but, that yeah, nigga, just yeah. imagine getting stripped naked in a room full of dudes. That Terrible. part alone is just gay as hell. And the, the best well, nah, part about jail the is word. the burrito when you get off the bus. That's the best oh, part yeah, of jail. Oh, yeah, nah, I'm the best. The burritos is fire that when burrito? you... They fire when you come up from court. <laughs> it's <laughs> you, something about you, that burrito. Nah, nigga, them burritos are because you eating peanut butter and jelly. Nigga, Man, you know what I'm saying? Them the burritos hit. Listen, nigga. I got that yeah. burrito. I, they was like, do not eat the burrito. I used to come back tired. Nigga, be like, get your burrito. <laughs> nigga, hell no. Nah. Nigga, them burritos. Shit, them, the burritos is a high bro. commodity. Bro. Look at that. Bro. The burritos is a gourmet meal. Yeah, the burritos is different. shit you ever ate. Like, nigga. I'm gonna tell you one thing though. Don't drink that juice. I don't know if they switched that it up. Zero percent. Back in '06, that drink the juice, juice. stained the, the concrete, and you can't get it up. Bleach, ammonia, nothing is getting that juice it's off not the ground. Juice, nigga. So imagine what it's doing to your insides. I'm like, trading. I don't know I'm trading. I'm trading. I'm trading. I was trading for my juice. juice. Same thing with the little salami meat. Like I don't know what that is. Nah, that's you, terrible. That you be looking at man. that shit? It got different colors in it, different spot. Like, what is this? This man, ain't even you real eat that meat. bologna, you gonna be in the hospital. Only thing I was eating was <laughs> the little cookie shit. That's peanut it. butter and jelly. And cookies and the burritos. Butter, for sure. That shit just, the burrito. bro. It's like you go in the sit in the, in the cell or the the room. It's a bunch of bags of shit just laying all over the floor. Niggas walking to pick it up and start eating it. Oatmeal, I'm Zuz- like, are we, at, oatmeal, are we dogs? Like- oatmeal, Zuzus, and Wham Whams. <laughs> Especially if you're in there working out. I'm going to give you all the secret sauce. Use the peanut butter on Insane Crib. Mix all that up. <laughs> you're going to get out right. <laughs> Bro, I was going to say, Zuzus and Wham Whams. Yeah, yeah, cookie. Nigga, what the oatmeal, nigga? All right, I I'm just ate the, the cookie because it came in a package that was closed. Oh, Everything right. else, the fruit and shit, nah, I ain't touching it. I'm going to do it for one month. I'm going to show you all the results. Watch. Mark my words. Starting today, man. We yeah. on the outside, and you ain't got no. no I ain't got no because I'm gonna show them the recipe. Hey, that's the what guest, I mean. The, the special guest that arrived. 